Hey guys, what's up? It's Simple Life of Jolene. How is my Simple Fam doing? So today I wanted to do a quick little, you know, update. So I am in my kitchen, as you can see, and I'm cooking up a storm. I'm making a... I wonder if you guys can see it. Hold on. Yes, so I'm making a lasagna using this lasagna ready pasta because yes i'm lazy to make a lasagna so this is my lasagna right now i'm gonna be adding some cheese as you guys can see whoops let me take this out the way and take this out the way okay so yeah, so we're gonna cheese it up, pretty it up. Mm -hmm. Look how beautiful. Sorry guys, I don't have my camera stand, so I gotta do it old school and old it so you guys can see it. But what I put below, I put in also in there some ricotta cheese, but I didn't put it on the top, which is fine. So this is it, my beautiful finished product, as you can see. So yeah, that's what lasagna is. Yeah, my kitchen is a mess from <laughs> boiling the water, but hey, that's not what it is. Okay guys, so the lasagna is all done and I cover it. So I am gonna put it in the oven to take for a little while. Actually, I like because it's so high to the brim, I like to put it on this here because the cheese will melt and then it starts running over to the oven and I hate that and I wipe off my thing so yeah, I hate the mess. Clean as I go, and I put that away. So yeah. Okay, guys. So the dinner is in the oven and it's cooking. So while that cook, I think I'll just do a little quick life update. You know, chit chat with you guys for a while, catch up, seeing how my peeps are doing, and yeah, seeing how you like everything. So. Um, yeah, I've been crazy busy since this whole, um, I should say third wave. Oh, sorry for that beep, guys. That's my oven telling me that it's warm and it's ready to go. So, yeah, we, I think we're in our fourth or fifth lockdown now in Canada. It's pretty crazy. I try not to keep up with it anymore. I'm pretty much, like, over it, like. I mean in the sense like not even like the lockdown and stuff I don't really care it's just everything that's going on all these innocent people and you know um, loved ones for everyone that you know you get up each day and hear that have passed away due to the virus you know all those people that are hospitalized in the hospital you know on ventilation it's so overcrowded that they don't even have room for people it's kind of sad and stuff but I think the problem too is that a lot of us is not taking it serious where we're thinking that it's just a joke and the government just trying to you know um, keep us inside and doing this stuff but even if we don't believe in it and even if we think that's what's going on we still have to think about all these people that are actually sick there is something out there because if you really think about it why are these people sick why are these people dying so you know we have to really look into ourselves and see this and right now i'm happy that i am home with my family my family is safe my kids are home like you know they're doing good that's my main focus right now is to worry about my kid and knowing that they're home i'm working from home so that pretty much keep me busy and stuff so that's a blessing and and stuff 
yeah as i was saying so they're home i don't even listen to the news anymore i pretty much like tune it out the only time like if i know anything that's going on is what pops up on my phone each day i i am tired of hearing all these you know these people that are you know are sick and dying from it like it really gets to me and that's one of the thing that why i never got into nursing or in the health field like being a doctor and stuff I remember when I was like hey little I wanted to be a doctor like I was telling my parents that I want to be a doctor when I grow up I want to be a doctor when I grow up and then one day I see this kid got sick and I got lightheaded and then I was realized that I hate seeing blood so I was like ah, uh -uh, this girl right here can't be a doctor because I can't take care of a wounded person and it's good that I've realized that I I can't do it instead of the fact that I wasted all that money and go to school and do it and then realize that it was something I want so I was happy and then I decided that I couldn't be a nurse because I hate seeing people sick like I could never work into a, a nursing home and stuff I remember when I was in grade 9 and we had to do her bring your kids to work I remember my aunt um, asked my aunt to bring me to the nursing home to uh, for my grade 9 um, orientation like you know to see how the work is and I remember she worked in a nursing home and I went there and then just seeing these people you know locked up in this nursing home and some of them are so bitter and thing I remember this one lady funniest story I, I remember up to this day because I'm gonna tell you she made an impact on me it was this little white lady and she was like cussing them get the F out of my room get out get out cussing them like right and then they wanted to um, well she's a PSW so they wanted to clean her and stuff bathe her and stuff and she's like get out leave me alone get out get away from me and then the woman wide her leg open and she's like do you know how much mm, I got in here and I was like picture me grade 9 so I was like 14 I was like oh my god like this is crazy like this woman thing and she's like I got a lot of men and a lot of mm, down there and you ain't going down there and she was going off and I was like oh god bless her so I was like shocked then this one old lady come and she's like keep coming to the nurse and there she's like someone is coming in my room there's someone in my room and then they're like there's no one in your room so i start freaking out now because i'm like oh my god there's a ghost in this woman room because this woman keep coming back and saying no there's someone in my room and every time they look no one was in her room so finally this was going on from like the whole day i was there and then close to the end of the day when i was leaving there she finally come on she's like he's back in my room and then they're like who's back in your room and she's like come come and when they look it was an old man going in her room and then they they said oh what happened was his wife used to be in that room and she passed away and the the, the new old lady take take over the room so it's so he's thinking like I guess he's dementia or whatever he was he's thinking that his wife was still there so he's going back in the room like to go visit his wife so when I see this stuff I'm telling you like it broke my heart I was like oh my god like this take a lot out of somebody to to like dealt with and not the fact even if you're you're I remember like one of my cousins she's a nurse and she was telling me a story where she was like taking care of this old lady and she said she was like around like over 200 pounds and she said all of a sudden the woman she lifted the lady out of her bed to um, bring her to the washroom and the woman dropped dead on her like she had this dead woman laying on her and she had to scream out for help and she's like it was a picture of 200 pound dead weight on her and I was like hearing these stuff I said mm -mm, this is not for me and the fact of seeing people sick that kind of like it takes a lot out of me even when my family or friends or anything get sick I think about it like I become like I go into like depression where every day I get up I think about it before I go to bed I think about it like I'm constantly thinking about it that I have to find ways to try to channel it out of my mind and it's so hard so I realized from a young age that that kind of industry was not for me and I see a lot of people going in there because you know what they're doing it for the money and don't do it for the money make sure you're doing it for the right reason because there is so much innocent sweet 
adorable like old people that you know need that proper love and care from people who truly doing it from your heart i know some of them are bitter some of them are like old school some of them are like 19th century in that mentality thinking that you know we're still in that era but it doesn't it doesn't make one bad apple to make you become that sour apple too along with them if you get what i mean like do it because you really want to do it. And that's the thing. I realized I couldn't do it, so I am not going to do it for the money. And my family really wanted me to do it. And I said no. And that's the reason why I went into accounting and finance, because that was more me. I like numbers. I like I like learning about uh, to save I, and all this stuff. And this is what it brings me to my next um my next thing I want to talk about. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm rambling, but I'm just giving you updates. I'm just, we're just chatting. So, you know, gravity and let's just talk. Like, let me talk. So, uh, the next thing I was saying, like, through this whole, like, pandemic, I've realized that I haven't even been shopping a lot. Like, you know, like, even though, in a sense, sometimes, like, it gets to me being locked down, meaning that you can't go in, go anywhere. And it's more as when it comes to my family. Like, you'd want to take them out, like, you know, and maybe get out the house, bring them to a um, a park or go to a hotel for a couple of days, go for dinner, or like, you know, do the little normal stuff and you can't do it. I don't even care to go to the mall and go shopping because throughout this whole pandemic, it made me realize that, I was just wasting my money on clothes. I don't even shop online. Like if I'm buying stuff now, it's more stuff to like improve my channel or more stuff that's going to be valuable to me that I'm down the line. Like it's not stuff that I'm wasting money on like clothes and stuff. I haven't even shop and i even realize now that if i do shop maybe i go to her like a thrift store and buy stuff because a lot of us doesn't realize like these thrift store they have like brand new stuff like if you if you don't want to buy a second hand there is brand new stuff there and then it cut the cost of what you're gonna spend like we're going to the store and we're buying all these stuff for full prices and then we wear for a while or never wear it and we're losing money so i've learned throughout this pandemic that it's time for me to save my money and put it towards something and this is a thing to make me lead back to look and said, I wish I'd known this when I was younger, like in my early 20s, when I was hanging out with my girlfriends, them wasting money, going, you know, going to club, buying here every week, buying outfit every week because we're going clubbing. And, you know, I wasn't a big drinker, so I couldn't say I've um, spent a lot of money on drink, but I do put pitch money in when we go out because we're buying bottles and, you know, trying to live the high life. But then now when I really realize it I, 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 I look at myself and I'm like hey I was trying to live for my friends and not me because I was always a saver but I find that one of my problem was I was trying to be like when I look back now I'm like some of my friends and now in my life when they know I'm older I realized that I was doing these stuff to keep the friendship like I was trying so hard to fit in with them that I I was losing what was important to me I mean, in the sense like saving and stuff so this is something like I want to tell people if you're young like make sure when you're you know when you have your friend circle look at them look at what kind of friends you have look at they're the type of friends who are like saving for the future because when I look at some of my friends that I that I hang out back then to now, like a lot of them haven't even accomplished um, after things that I've accomplished. And I'm not saying it to brag or anything, but I'm just saying, imagine if I was still friend with them, I would be still living the kind of life that they 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 are living and not thinking about the future in the sense then that I'm trying to elevate myself and to elevate myself even for my family. So I said to myself, if I did, save all that money I wasted I would be I would maybe hone so much stuff like so much investment and stuff so I like to say if you're young and you're watching this or even in my age group and you're doing this stuff look at your friends and see who they are are they there to elevate you are they there to motivate you to advance yourself to 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 reach further and stuff and also like shopping shopping and i'm saying this from experience i love shopping and i think i was shopping for a lot because of like it was the therapeutic 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 for me I me mean, in the sense that like, i would be stressed out and i'll go shopping 
and then I'll buy these stuff and I haven't even wear it as what I said in a, maybe a lot of my video I have so many clothes right now that has the tag on never worn I've I have even donated so many clothes that have tags on so I tell myself now I'm wasting my money like all that money is going now that I could have invested in a investment or put it in my savings account and you know put it to something um, important. I know nowadays we all look at life like this, that, oh, you gotta live for today because tomorrow is not promised. Yes, you're right. We have to live for today. But if you really listen towards it, it doesn't say that because you're living for today that you're supposed to spend everything today. You have to take a break. And then you have to really kind of like spend, but in the same time, save a little for tomorrow. Because when you wake up tomorrow morning and you wake up, what do you have then if you spend everything today? And that's one of the things that we have to um, look at. And I think that's why it's, I changed my mindset that with when it comes to fashion and it comes to technology, every time we look, it's changing. Meaning the sense that technology, the other day, it was iPhone 11 Plus came out, iPhone 11 Pro come out, and then all of a sudden, when you listen to it now, they're talking about the 12. So 11 was just in the back seat. Now nobody cared for it because now they think. But so think about every single year you're trying to buy this. It's the same as fashion. Every single every year something new come out, and we buy this stuff, and then we don't wear it this year. Then you put it down. And then next year, ne this year come now, summer come, they say, oh, this is a new trend. This is a new trend. And we constantly always trying to buy to keep up with it. And guess what? We are the one that actually losing because guess what? You're putting our goals aside to keep up with our fashion trends. And then you don't accomplish what you want. But think about it. If you really sit down and say, hey, let me do a business or hey, let me save this money in a high savings account and try to make some money on my money. Let me save for the future because guess what? I'm going to have a family one day or you do have a family and you want to you want to make your family better you want to elevate yourself so these are the things that you have to look at and that's why on this channel if you have realized from day one i've always stick by what i said like this channel is about looking good and at the same time at a cost meaning i don't want you guys to go out there and spend a lot of money so if i come to you and i show you a fashion it's gonna be at a reasonable price and if you see a high-end fashion in my in my all think of it as this it's either it was given to me or it was something that I bought as a really low discounted price I am not gonna go out there and drop three grand eight hundred seven hundred on nothing the most I would actually spend if I do spend it would be be on a purse like I've spent so far maybe like say two hundred dollars that's it and a purse or stuff but i would never drop three grand like louis vuitton and chanel and D dior and whatever i love you you look beautiful but you're gonna still look beautiful on the shelf because guess what it ain't gonna happen over here and if it do happen you gotta be somebody buying it for me as a gift so if you want to buy me a chanel purse or a gucci purse or a, a dior by all means i thank you but it ain't gonna come out of this girl pocket because i want to stick by my brand and it's that telling you guys you guys can look fabulous look beautiful as a fraction of price if you see a chanel bag or a dior bag or a louis vuitton bag that you like think about it this way you can find that same exact bag at a non-luxury store and still look beautiful and you even maybe rock it even better than the person who is wearing a Chanel and thing. You don't need a Chanel or a Gucci or anything to define who you are. Fashion is about taking risks and um, dressing up and looking pretty. But at the same time, keeping the money in your pocket. Don't waste your money all the time going out there and go spend <laughs> thousands of dollars. For what? What is it gonna do? You buy that bag for three thousand dollars. You wear it a couple of times and then they stay in your your 
your closet doesn't move I'll give you an example for it because I'm gonna be doing it all you maybe see it all before this one but I'm gonna do it all showing you guys my bag and I get so many compliments on all of my bags that I have and people always stop me and say oh my god I love your bag where do you got it but some of my bags are like $15 $20 my favorite store to buy bags are winners but winners are starting to disappoint me I let them back in the days back in the days your prices was reasonable but now I find them to start getting ex um, their price starting to move up a little which is starting to piss me off but that's the next story but my most expensive bag in my collection is a MK bag <laughs> and I'm being honest to you an MK bag my first expensive bag was an MK bag and to you it's not expensive it was 150 US I bought it when I went to Vegas it's this nice green um, Louis Vuitton purse it was a uh, special edition but when i saw it love it i bought it and then afterwards i saw a next um, mk bag at winners and it was like 139 i picked up because i love it. it was a peach it's actually right here so i could show you it was this peach color bag and i saw it and it was it, it wasn't even the mk it was just the color that gravitated and then afterwards i realized it was mk and then the next purse i bought was a a spade um, Kate Spade, I think I pay um, $189 or something like that. But I have to spend nothing higher than that and I won't go any higher. Any higher, forget it and, and stuff. But that's what I'm saying. Like, And you can still look beautiful. And I want you guys to feel your best, look your best as a fraction of at the fraction at a at a fraction of your cost and I want you to feel comfortable I don't want you to go out there looking fly and and broke at the same time in your pocket no I want you to look your best and I want your pocket to look the best when you go out there you keep some of the coin in your pocket and that's all I'm gonna say but other than that that's my life my update my ranting for today but yeah, so I'm just cooking dinner and and stuff. But I've been really good. Like I've been crazy busy. I feel like you hear the little one in the background saying she's hungry. Yeah, dinner is almost ready. I've been like been so busy that I've been falling off my posting my frequently. But eventually, people, I am gonna be um, getting back to it. I just have a lot of things that I'm working on in the back end. And I'm trying to bring to life. I'm trying to, at the same time, trying to figure out I want to do a lot more like, you know, give you guys saving tips, like how you guys can save money. I want to also give you guys um, some life um, life act like what you guys need to know as when you're younger getting older and stuff and even stuff as you're older what you need to know as you go about life so those are some of the stuff that I'm looking in my head that I want to work on and stuff and it's been crazy you know being home with the kids um, doing everything I hope all of you guys are keeping safe I hope you guys been liking the channel don't forget like Leave me a comment and let me know some ideas what you guys would like to see. If you guys want to see me do more life hack, if you guys want me to give you more life story, because trust me, I have lived the life, gone through hell, back, and, and um, I've come out the way I am. But the thing with me, I can't say to myself that I am a fashionista, but I have always been into like jewelry i love jewelry jewelry is like my biggest like obsession jewelry purses and shoes and um i like belt too but i gotta say jewelry uh bags and glasses and all those stuff is my venture when it comes to fashion i love it love dressing up like looking pretty i'm not gonna say i am one of those a class um dressers like you see on instagram but i can pass <laughs> and that's just me but yeah that's pretty much it for my ranting so i hope you guys like what I was talking about and stuff I don't mean to be sounding because you know some people might take what I'm saying as being negative but I'm not being negative I'm just trying to I, I want all of us to win I don't want me alone to win I want everybody to win and if you're gonna come here I'm gonna be straight cut truth I'm gonna tell you like I want you 
to learn to save from your young. So later you can look back and say, you know what? I thank that damn girl named Julene from that Simple Life of Julene the channel because, you know, she taught me a lot and made me realize it. And that's all I want to do. Like, I want to educate you guys that you guys can be your best, look your best, feel your best. And be confident in anything, none name brand, nothing. If you guys see my stuff, it's what H and M, Winners, um, Joe Fresh, and all the the norm. I am not gonna be stepping out and buy anything crazy high. And if it is, it gotta be on sale for a very low, low price. <laughs> Anyways, guys, yes, let's get on with this. Okay, so I'm in my room getting some bags. Some bags. So I have this bag that I, I'm gonna be doing a bag all. So I am just picking out some bags, some of my favorite ones, so I can show on um, I could show in my all. So yeah, so that's out of one closet. And then now I go over here. If you guys can see. So here now. As you can see, I'm gonna be taking out some. So I have this purse right here. So that's in that bag. I have this one. I think I showed before in my all. But I'll show you again this one, uh, this one, this other one. Uh, well, maybe I'll show this one. It's not really anything biggie, but it's kind of dear to me. This one. Okay. So, yeah. So, I pick out a few of the bags that I want to do with the all. So. to bring those downstairs see I'm still have my closet organized I'm so proud of myself yes okay let me see. okay so I'm getting the stuff them ready so these are some of the bags for my all um, yeah, so now we're gonna go down to my studio. All right, so let's go down to my studio. Sorry, guys, if it's dark, I didn't turn the light off, the light on on my staircase. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting into the light. So um, we're going in the basement. Oh God, I have so much stuff. Okay. Hi, Boo Boo. Hi, Mama. How are you? Good. It's good. Love ya. Okay, so let me turn on the light. Okay, guys. My. Oh, let me hold this up. Okay. So yeah, so we're just going down the stairs. Nothing really fancy. The basement is not fully finished as you guys can see. So yeah, you can see that it's on thing. It's just uh oh, oh. <sighs> sorry. Alright, there. Turn the light on. Okay, perfect. So Okay, so this is my studio. It's a hot mess right now, so please don't judge. Yes, but yeah, it's pretty, it's under working condition. So I still have a lot of things just boxed up. It still need to be completely finished, let you guys see it. I do, let me put on my, one second, let me put on my purse. I'll show you guys quickly. So it's just pretty much boxed up as you can see. So if you see like up top there needs to fix. 
there is a yeah cut out there because the outside <clears throat> the outside pipe was um, leaking so we had to cut it out after we did the basement it still have the wiring needs to be finished right here so that's kind of the reason can they see it the wiring right here needs to be finished and yeah this is the pretty much the room so yeah I put up a little blue screen blue what should I say blue cloth there so I can have like a little bit of blue when I'm sitting down talking you see the roughing still need like doors need to put up there a door needs to put up here so it's pretty much under condition it's not perfect but it's a little mess messy because I had from my my last all as you can see here it's all there but what I want to do is I want to get a a rack like a clothing rack so I can be able to hang my clothes on when I do like when I do um like when I'm doing the all so that way I can pick it off the all instead of putting it on this chair that you see right here so yeah it's pretty crazy I still have all of my if you can see <laughs> wigs and stuff from here from my last all I'm just keeping it real with you guys <laughs> no judgment here if you want to judge me go ahead listen my life is so busy that I'm doing the hot most for me to even be able to do a video and come to you guys you know what you guys have to give me credit because I have a million and things to like Monday and Tuesday is normally like my busy day then Wednesday I have something thing then Thursday Friday I have either something planned or something and then Saturday Sunday is like back at it again so I'm constantly like going going when I'm doing stuff so I am pretty much proud of myself to organize and be able to do this. But I came up with a trick and people are going to laugh. So when I do my all, so because I don't get to, because I'm doing it in the basement, as I said, I don't get to go upstairs. I'll show you guys a quick little DIY that I do and you guys are going to laugh. But it's actually funny. So in the basement, because it's not finished, I have decided, and this is such a genius idea if somebody looking, look behind me right here. Whoops, the lighting is shining. So for this right here, I, on the board, because it's unfinished, I hang all of my all stuff here. So that way now I know which all I'm doing. So I have like my jacket and stuff from here. And then I came up with this perfect idea, like in the winter time, you know, in the winter time, how you have your... In the winter time, you have your jacket and have all these jacket, and then come summertime, you know your transition. You don't wear them anymore, but they're in the closet, taking up space and stuff. So I came with the idea that hey, why not hang it down here? So yesterday I did a whole spring cleaning, so now I hang the winter jacket down here on the um, on the beam or the wood because as you see, my basement is frame out. It's not completely finished but hopefully by this summer we can get it finished and get my studio finished so I can have a thing I got this beautiful um let me see if I can show you in this box I have this beautiful like wall fireplace that I that I want to put up on the wall that will look like really beautiful get a nice couch and you know make it loungy and stuff so I can do a lot more like what should I say, sit down, talk, you know, talk with my ladies, talk with my guys and be more, you know, intimate and stuff. But as I said, I have a lot of things that I want to do. So yeah, let me go do this um, bag all right now. And then I will, um, yeah, come back to you guys. So let me go set that up. Mm -hmm. All right. So... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Simple Life of Jermaine. If you guys are new here, welcome to the Simple Fam. So today I am going to be doing a bag all and I'm going to be showing you guys some of my luxury cute pieces that I have 
in my closet so if you guys would like to see my bags that i've collected over the years that i have called them my my own luxury piece well keep on watching okay guys so i finished the all and now i'm going upstairs so i can go feed the little rug rat of mine that is screaming that she is hungry disturbing my all so yeah the lasagna is all done so let me show you guys the beautiful lasagna there it is yeah there it is so yeah looking all beautiful and stuff yeah so i am gonna go feed that little one over there if you can see her in the background there there she is yep I'm going to go feed her because she's hungry, but thank you guys for hanging out with me. Hope you guys like this vlog, kind of life update kind of thing. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Okay, guys, so this is my dinner and I pick up this wine. This is a what? Pilar wine spitzer that they told me at the store that's supposed to be really good. So I am going to be drinking it with my dinner. It's supposed to be low sugar and um, sweet. So I am going to try it out and I will see how it goes. But yeah, this is my dinner. So I will be drinking this. This is not sponsored. I'm just telling you about it. It's some new it's some new drink that just come out so yeah all right